the Laboratory System Strengthening Community of Practice, LabCorp, is a project convened by SLM and funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, whose goal is to strengthen laboratory services uh, within member countries through South-to-South -South collaboration. LabCorp is a multi-country learning network that is intended to help countries share uh, and learn from each other about the challenges that they are facing um, as they scale up viral load and recognize that part of scaling up viral load is really thinking about the laboratory systems that underlie it. First and foremost is the, the ECHO platform where countries meet regularly on a video conference. We agree on the topic and then we get a subject matter expert and then we get some countries that have implemented some innovative approaches around it and uh, discuss. So uh, a country is given to share best practice they do in their countries and other countries can learn. New innovative tools are also shared so it helps us to, to stay on par with everyone else. We've also been connected to the rest of the other countries under SLM LabCorp uh, through the WhatsApp forum. So whatever is not properly uh, handled on the Zoom uh, echo session, it, it, it will continue to be broken down during, through the WhatsApp. I'm also an active member of Slack. Uh, so Slack is one of the social platform where we as Malawi country team and the laptop, we are able to uh, link with other countries under the laptop, share issues to do with their load. The materials that are generated are always posted on the Slack platform and members can, can catch up with it. The website is another communication platform where knowledge creation like the newsletters, the cookbook, materials that come from our echo sessions on YouTube, they are posted there. It's providing this knowledge hub. What is the viral load assessment tool that CDC put together? Well, they put it on ASLM's website. One of the services that LabCorp does is to provide technical assistance to countries by visit the country and walk through their program and advise them. They have been able to visit our laboratory, our Central Public Health Laboratory, and they even participated in some supervision and mentorship sessions. It's not only the laboratory uh, community who can establish system, rather uh, the executives and uh, clinicians need to uh, be involved in all uh, the process. So everybody gets to participate in the meetings, learn what our counterparts in different countries are doing. The Ministry of Health, the program manager, maybe the technical people, but also the big donors, and then the one or two big implementing partners in the country, as well as maybe a university, civil society. These are the key stakeholders in any sort of program in a country. I'm proud to be in this team. Africa has come up with something which they can share and we are building capacity for all labs. With the sort of knowledge that we've gained from ESLM, I think we are poised to improve on the quality of services. And I'm very confident that in the next couple of months or year, I think we would have made some very significant achievements.